since she's part of the Biden-Harris team, is she earned it and it makes her stronger, it makes her more credible. So we should go through the process that exists instead of doing the same mistake the Democratic Party does every single time. We are anointing a leader because we are geniuses at the... All right, guys, I wanted to kind of uh, cover this topic about anointing leaders and things like that. But it was kind of funny because Destiny actually looked like he cooked a tad bit. Not sure. You guys let me know. Um, so why don't we, what we'll do, we'll watch the segment and then we'll see. Did Destiny cook or did Destiny not cook? We'll see. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching too. I always thank everybody who watches. DNC, we're super smart. We're the ones who picked Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden in 2020. Hold on, wait a minute. Can you justify that? What do you mean? Well, you keep saying anointing a leader. Hillary Clinton won the primary. Joe Biden won the primary. What is the anointment we're talking about? Yeah, so yeah, easy to answer. In 2016, they don't, the DNC doesn't say, hey, I'm not, although in 2024 they did, and I'll get to that in a second. Hey, I'm not having an election. They, instead, they do things like, oh, let's plan the smallest number of debates, morons. You gave up hundreds of millions of dollars in free media coverage. The Republicans swooped in and had, had a ton of debates, got all that free media coverage and used it to win. And they put the debates up against football games late at night, et cetera. So that's a small part of it. Another part of it is that they laundered money, and this is a proven fact, through the uh, state parties, the giant rich donors basically cheated and got the money to go to the DNC and then to the, uh, not the DNC, but the Democratic state parties, and then go to Hillary Clinton. That was favoring one candidate over another. And of course, the the we're not even talking about the 800-pound gorilla in the room, which is mainstream media. Corporate media loves corporate yeah, Democrats but, 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 like Biden and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like none of this. Yeah, this is, no, no, this is all, just to be clear, this is all. Okay, hold on, 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 Oh, the DNC cheating for corporate Democrats is great. It's wonderful. The wonderful, oh, wonderful. They should so tilt on scale. Yeah, lead on the scale. We don't want a populist who's had a 12-point lead against Donald Trump. We don't want to win because you know that they think that an economic populist is way more dangerous. Okay, so I have to stop because of the fact that, you know, how it goes on YouTube. But anyway, coming back to it, um, I do believe that there's anointing that happens. I thought it was rather odd when... Bernie Sanders just dropped out of the race out of nowhere, just dropped out of the race, though I know optically how it looked. This is when, you know, the first time Joe Biden was going against Trump in 2020. I knew optically it would look better for a Joe Biden to win, so-called win the primary. So I kind of agree with Chank when it comes to the whole anointing thing. I think that it happens on both sides, though. But this is obviously a debate against uh, with Democrats, right? I mean, who really primaried Joe Biden this time around? We didn't even have a primary. Like, but, well, I'll say this. They didn't even have a primary for Joe Biden. So this is really kind of odd. At least the Republicans try to give a farce of a primary. But it is really odd if you think about it. So Jake Uger actually makes a point here. Who's the economic populist with a 12 point leader, Donald Trump? Well, in 2024, what did they you. do? I know because I was in the primary. They're like, oh, the Florida primary canceled. Biden is unilaterally the candidate from Florida. Uh, in North Carolina and Tennessee, there's a sitting U.S. congressman in the primary. They're like, yeah, I don't care. We're not going to put anyone on the ballot because they cheat, cheat, cheat in every way. They hate democracy. <laughs> okay. And it's so ironic that their uh, tagline for this election is protect democracy as the DNC has stomped it out everywhere they could find it. And that is why they pick loser, super weak candidates because they do this dumbass anointing instead of just let, having a fair contest where everybody can vote and, and have a fair shot at it. So he's really saying a lot of things that I didn't know happened in the DNC. I mean, why would I know, right? Um, that there were other people who were primarying and, and they just didn't put them on the ballot. You know, I mean, I'm at the point where I think everything, not everything, but I know the kind of farce that we live in. Um, and this is not to black pill anybody. Maybe it's, it should wake people up so people know, like, that people are really being selected to run the country. And that's a problem. And I feel like we're very close to that reality, but yet nobody really, like, gets mad about it, you know? I think it's almost expected at this point. Jake, just real quick, uh, do you throw your name in the ring? When it comes to the Democratic no, Convention? No, no, no. So <laughs> that's a really out? important question. Wait, am I able to respond to my simple question that he answered? Can I, can I answer the question? So... 
so the reason I ran in the primary was because I accurately assessed that Joe Biden had no chance of winning. Um, by the way, I wait apologies for all the people who were wrong and said, oh, no, you're ridiculous. Joe Biden has a great chance of winning. Oops, oops, okay. So I ran to desperately to get someone else in the race. I said it on the first day that I announced my campaign. All right, Hank, we know, um, but they, they weren't gonna let you do it, so it's okay. Um, we just wanna skip over to Destiny's part where he starts to talk. And let's see, because I, I felt like he was kind of good, but I, I don't know, guys. You guys let me know. Drop a comment below, let me know. If we're gonna talk about an anointing process and we're gonna say that Hillary Clinton was the one who was chosen, why did Obama beat her? Obama, uh, unless Obama magically became the anointed candidate uh, in 2008, but in that case, why couldn't Bernie Sanders have become the anointed candidate when voters started to prefer him? It's because exactly. progressives and populists are not popular on the Democratic side, thank God, yeah. okay? They are not popular on the Democratic side. And also the idea of somebody talking, uh, you know, about like, oh, these candidates are, you know, the Democratic party is stealing the election because they're not willing to primary their own candidate. I'm sorry, where were the Republicans primary? primaries um, against Donald Trump um, when he was running for re-election. You just don't primary your, your candidate. There's nothing undemocratic That's about that. And deciding when you want to hold debates and not, you know, taking seriously every single, you know, one percentage point polling candidate seriously and hosting debates and wasting money. All of that makes sense. None of that is undemocratic. Nothing was undemocratic about Bernie or any populist losing the elections. These are the results that our system, for better or for worse, have given us in as democratic a manner as they can reasonably do. So I'm going to disagree with everything that Destiny <laughs> said. But what Destiny does is that he talks fast, he uses acclimates, he rubs his head, you know, like, you know, like he he works the camera. I get it, because I do too. I'm, I'm, I'm off camera right now because I wanted to, to really talk about this and I had to hurry up and anyway, you guys don't, that has nothing to do with anything, right? So all right, coming back to the point. Um, he's saying, well, why didn't uh, Hillary win over Obama if he was, if she was anointed, but then he wasn't, that's what they're saying. They're saying Obama was anointed. And then he's saying it's because progressives are worse um, candidates for Democrats than, I guess, moderate Democrats. It's nothing moderate about an Obama. Obama pretty much federalized Marxism. Like, are you kidding me? I mean, like, let's culturally look at this with the, you know, so-called federalization of so-called gay marriage, right? That was Obama. So I don't know what he's saying there. I mean, he put out a lot of policies that were federally like, you know, holding back money from states if they had too many suburbs. I mean, so I don't know. This guy was a progressive, very much a progressive. So I don't know what point that he's making. Then he said, who primary Trump? Yeah, there was a whole Trump DeSantis battle that got really ridiculous. I mean, what people really need to wake up to the fact is that the whole system is not working for the people, though I am not asking for communism, so don't get it twisted. When I say that, I mean, remove the fakers and put some real America first people in there. And that's just really it at the end of the day. But I thought this this part of the debate was pretty cool. It's kind of fun to watch um, Destiny play with his hair, wring his hands, do kind of things like that. He works the cameras. He's, he, I have to hand it to him. He is pretty good at that. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think about this clip. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.